Hello, game audio people and sound design folks. Uh, I wanted to show off a cool trick that I like to use when I make UI sound effects for games or even like computer sound effects uh, when I'm doing, you know, sound design work for animation, etc. So this is a nifty little thing that I've developed and to do it, you will need serum or another virtual instrument that can generate random values. Um, that's the nice thing about Serum is that it has uh, chaos modifiers and note on random, which generates a random value every note press. Um, and those will be integral to creating this sound. Um, the other thing that Serum has that I really like is these really cool filters. Um, the three that I like to use the most are combs, all pass, and reverb. Uh, all passes, I don't know why it's called that. It just, it doesn't, it's not an all pass because that's, you know, what's an all pass? But these are the three that I like to use. Um, we're gonna use combs here. Um, but the main thing is that I, Serum also has a filter in the effects chain. And we're going to be capitalizing on that by putting the reverb uh, filter on. Now the reverb filter is cool. It gives some sort, it gives a sort of reverb to the sound that you put it through, but it's, it's not true reverb. I'm not entirely sure on the mechanics of how that's being processed. Let me make this bigger here. There we go. Perfect. So, uh, if we're gonna make be, if we're gonna be making UI sounds, I like to make it sort of like a short sort of pluck. Now, I haven't actually played what we have yet, so let's play that. Uh, it's a nifty little plucky instrument, but here's where it gets interesting. So, I'm gonna put a note on random on the, let's find it, fx frequency there we go that's cut off i don't know why they don't call it cut off but um we're going to be maximizing that and making it bipolar here by clicking that little button there now let's see what we got every single note press we get something pretty totally different sounding so we're pretty close already this is this is a really great start to making UI sound effects if you're lacking inspiration. Um, but we're gonna do a couple things more to it. So, this is done. I mean, you can mess with these values if you want. I, I don't really think it's necessary. Um, you could maybe mess with drive. That makes something very harsh. <laughs> so let me undo that. Okay. Um, so let's see, the other thing that we're going to be doing is we're gonna be using this combs filter. So if we turn that on, combs is, a, it, it's a comb filter, but it's it's more than that. It's, it's hard to describe. It's just a very weird, complex filter. And you see it being used in, you know, like dubstep a whole lot because of its cool effect it has on like respaces and stuff like that. But uh, we're gonna be doing something different with it. So I like putting a chaos modifier on the internal filter. Um, find that, cut off. You'd think I'd be a pro at it by now, but I'm not. So now let's see what we have. So combs is neat because it sort of adjusts the pitch uh, when it gets to a certain value. All passes does that too. Uh, I would say that you would be pretty well off using all passes here as well as combs. Maybe, I mean, hey, let's try another reverb. That sounds pretty neat. Now, we haven't even changed the oscillator. So if you wanna do something neat uh, as an additional thing, you could even adjust, you can change the wavetable and you could assign a chaos filter to, you know, this, uh, the wavetable position, or you can even add a modifier, maybe put like a pulse width modifier on it. And then, you know, play around with that. I have, um, I have a preset actually, if I can find it, it's under user, it's called itemize. And it's essentially this exact sound. It's a little bit more fine tuned. 
But if you'll hear, every note press I get sounds like a totally new sound. And I love using this for, you know, sound design in UI or like computer sounds or sci-fi sounds because it's just, it's just such a handy cheat <laughs> to me. But, um, you know, if you play like the Game Boy sounds, like all of those are neat little um, like yes or no or error sounds that you can put in a game. Um, but yeah, that's kind of it. Uh, I have a modified version of this that I forget entirely what I did. Yeah, it's the same thing, basically. So I have chaos and note on randoms and stuff like that. I think I was using this for a dialogue system. So it, like a character would be like... And I thought that sounded really neat. But um, yeah, I uh, hope this helped um, someone. It's uh, it's a little bit technical, but um, I didn't want to hoard my secrets. So yeah, enjoy.